We've already talked about how collections are used to share items internally with other users of your organization. However, Bitwarden also allows you to securely share your data with those outside your organization. We do that through Bitwarden Send. You can access that through either your Web Vault or from any of the applications available. You'll create a new send, give it a name, and you can add in either a file of up to 500 meg on all of the desktop applications or 100 if you're using the mobile app, or you can choose text. I'm just going to enter text and use hello as my example. Now you can choose when accessing the send to hide the text by default. This means that the text won't be available in plain text when they visit the link, but they will still be able to copy and use the text. You can choose to copy the link to your clipboard on save. I'll choose that. And then I have some options. These options will allow you to address any concerns you may have with more secure information being shared. Deletion date is going to signify the length of time that this send is going to be available in my vault. The expiration date is going to signify when it will stop being able to be accessed externally. So someone visiting the URL and getting the data that I've shared. If I have it set to never, that means that it will be available until that send is deleted from my vault. If it is particularly sensitive information, I can set this to something very short, like one day or one hour. I can also set a maximum access count. So perhaps I only want it to be accessible one time before it is prevented from being accessed. I can also set up a password. So this is a password that would need to be entered before the information could be accessed. For this example, I'm going to enter a password. I'm going to enter a note so I know who it's for. And then the last two options, I can choose to hide my email address or if I'm coming back and want to deactivate this send right away, I can choose this option. But now I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And when I visit this URL, it's going to prompt me to enter my password. Once I've entered that password, I can hit continue. And now I can view or copy that information that has been shared.